death obviously is so sudden and it hits you uh, really hard when, you, when someone that's, that's had an impact on your life, and Billy did influence my life in a lot of different ways. So uh, I just sat down and right away, you know, the good times came back. Everyone likes to harp on the negative when you talk about Billy Martin, but um, uh, like I said, you know, to, the, to a lot of the media, I mean, you know, Billy was no angel, but um, there was a lot of good in Billy Martin, and, and uh, the people that he touched, uh, you know, he really left an impression. And for me in particular, I'll never forget uh, what he meant in my early life as I grew older in, in my profession. Um, uh, I owed a lot to where I am right now as a ball player. Uh, you know, some people might not, might not agree, but even as a human being in some ways off the field um, in what he taught me. A couple of days later, I couldn't believe it. You know, I started hearing people saying, well, you know, the guy was a violent guy and he was this and he was that. And you would think that he would die that way. And I, I started thinking about how sick people can think, the things to say, you know. But they didn't know him like I knew him, so I knew better, you know. Um, but I, you know, I was, I was shocked, I was hurt. I mean, I was really hurt. And um, I think uh, Stephanie felt it a lot too, because um, I mean, she just broke up and, you know, almost went to pieces. And, um, but, you know, I'll miss him. Two days, three days before the accident, the fateful day, he came down here to read the uh, night before Christmas to 2,000 underprivileged kids. We had a concert at the hall, big, big, with the symphony orchestra. And everybody wondered. They wanted Billy Martin reading, you know, the night before Christmas. He brought the house down. He was tremendous. And that's the way I remember him, and that's the way I always want to remember him. Sitting there singing carols with me to those kids and the rest of the people, and sitting there reading the night before Christmas to 2,000 kids that were going to have no Christmas. And they went crazy over it. Billy could have ten dollars in his pocket, and uh, if you needed a few bucks, he'd give you all ten. Uh, he just was very good-hearted. He'd do anything for you. Uh, I think it's been proven. Some of the fellows he's had as coaches in his career as a manager, he's uh, brought Art Fowler back. Uh, Lee Wall was another guy. Uh, Cleet Boyer. You know, people that uh, you wouldn't think that you know he would remember them, but he uh, he he didn't remember. He didn't forget his friends and. Uh, uh, he was just a very loyal and uh, very soft-hearted guy also. But like you said, he could be tough too. I was um, at my uh, condominium and we was um, serving uh, dinner, Christmas dinner. And uh, uh, my brother or somebody came by and he goes, oh, Billy had an accident and blah, 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 Billy died. And we goes, nah, you just hearing stuff. And then it was a big thing because, you know, the death or the died or he, it was my birthday so it was my birthday and then you go ah no this didn't happen then you, it came on the, the news and you go wow and to me it was just a shock to me and then I always said oh he, he left on my birthday so it was a to me it was a hard feeling I felt that a, a great man had left the game of baseball and you know we're gonna miss it yeah, that was the baseball man it was a big feeling to me. I didn't, you know, I cared for Billy too much, and and to see him go like that, uh, it was a heartbreak. Like I've said before, and I'll always say it, I may not have been the greatest Yankee he'd ever played, but I am the proudest, and I, mean, I believe that, and I mean it. And I teach that pride in other ball clubs, it, although I don't use the word Yankee. I install it, and it, it works. It works. You gotta give it yourself. And uh, it's not like a light switch turning on and off. You gotta push, push, push. Take nothing for granted. Force everybody to worry about what you're gonna do next. It's managing.